As the days passed, Bruno grew bigger and outgrew the Alsatian dogs. Still, it was sweet, naughty and playful like before. He was fond of everyone. The narrator's wife was very attached to Bruno and vice versa. She changed his name to Baba which means a small boy in Hindustani language. Baba did some tricks. When he was ordered Baba wrestle or Baba box, he would wrestle the person and overpower him. When commanded Baba hold gun, he would point a stick at the person as if ready to shoot him. When asked Baba where is baby, he would take out a piece of wood and cradle it affectionately like a baby. As he had grown big, he was chained because he could be a threat to the tenant's children. The narrator and his son advised to send Baba to the zoo. When his wife was advised so by the friends too, she agreed and a letter was written to the zoo in charge to inquire if he would like to keep a bear at the zoo. He affirmed and then Baba was sent to the Mysore Zoo, packed in a cage, kept on a lorry. He travelled a distance of 87 miles to reach the zoo. Although everyone missed Baba, but they were relaxed. The narrator's wife was disturbed. She wept and worried about Baba's well-being. Initially, she did not eat or drink. She wrote a letter to the zoo in charge to inquire about Baba. He replied that Baba was also undergoing a similar situation like her. Later, she would ask her friends visiting Mysore to visit Baba and check out on him. Everyone gave a similar report that Baba was fine but appeared thin and sad. The staff at the zoo said that he seemed worried. The narrator restrained his wife from visiting the zoo for three months. One day she said that she wanted to see Baba and if he would not take her, then she would go herself by train or bus. Finally, they went to see Baba at the zoo. Their friends had predicted that Baba would not recognize her and the narrator had thought so too. But to his amazement, she was a few steps away from the cage when Baba saw her and recognized her. He screamed with happiness. She ran up to him, petted him and Baba was very happy to have her back. She remained though for three hours. She fed Baba different things which were his favorites. As the zoo had to close, they had to leave. The narrator's wife did not want to leave Baba and both of them cried bitterly. Even the zoo in charge was sad. The narrator was fine because he knew that the next step would be to take Baba back along to Bangalore. The wife requested the in charge that she wanted to take Baba back. He replied that the bear was government property now and that she needed permission from the superintendent in Bangalore. Thus, they returned to Bangalore and visited the superintendent at his bungalow. She cried and requested that both of them had been worrying for each other. She requested to have Baba back. The superintendent was a kind man. He accepted her request. He wrote to the zoo in charge to arrange a cage for transporting Baba to Bangalore.